The very first image of a supermassive black hole was a remarkable unveiling that provided solid proof of the celestial entity, which until then had been merely a concept. This breakthrough allows scientists to measure the black hole's mass with greater precision. Who could have guessed that the shape of a black hole is round, exactly as forecasted by Einstein's theory of relativity long ago? We didn't know if black holes would be common in the centers of galaxies, but with the help of the Hubble telescope, offering precise ways to look into the center of every galaxy, we found that every galaxy we've checked reveals a black hole. Thus, we can extrapolate and assert that a black hole is a natural phenomenon in the center of all galaxies. We are now ready to delve into the structure of a black hole, an exploration that might reshape our understanding of the cosmos. Join us on this journey as we seek answers to one of the most profound questions in astronomy. What are black holes? Black holes are extraordinary cosmic phenomena that arise from massive explosions. Their mass is concentrated into such a tiny space that it creates gravitational forces of immense strength. This force is so extreme that nothing, not even light, can escape. Once something enters a black hole, it is there to stay forever. These gravitational powerhouses vary in size. Stellar black holes, for instance, are a few times the mass of our sun, whereas supermassive black holes can possess millions or even billions of times the sun's mass. Scientists have been studying the indirect effects of black holes for years, and each piece of data reveals more about their intricacies. Although it may seem that black holes, with their immense mass and power, have always existed, they do actually have an origin. This amazing cosmic creation is a brilliant display of the energetic and ever-changing universe. You can think of a black hole as completely consuming the volume of space-time in its vicinity. Black holes are born from the remnants of colossal stars that have depleted their nuclear fuel. These stars experience a supernova explosion, a spectacular and cataclysmic end to their existence. During a supernova, the star's outer layers are violently flung into space while the core undergoes a gravitational collapse. However, not all collapses have the same outcome. If the core's mass is several times that of our sun, gravity's force overwhelms everything else inducing the core to implode. This implosion is so severe that it shrinks the mass into an incredibly tiny volume. Think of it like squeezing a softball. When you squeeze it, the ball shrinks, but its mass, or the amount of material, remains the same. It just becomes denser. Now imagine squeezing the ball until it is as small as a grain of sand, yet it still weighs as much as before. This is similar to what happens when a massive star undergoes a supernova. Electron degeneracy is a key concept here. I don't think a black hole knows it's a black hole. It's just a lump of mass out there. If Earth today turned into a black hole, it would be a mini black hole, roughly the size of a plum. Have you ever wondered why matter doesn't run out of space when it collapses during the formation of a black hole? Is there a point where it simply can't be compressed anymore? There is a limit to how much you can compress it, and this is connected to the different states of matter. For instance, a rock keeps its shape because of the forces between its atoms and molecules. The electric forces between atoms and molecules, when under a lot of pressure, can push them closer together, squishing the space between them, a situation called electron degeneracy. You're trying to cram electrons into the space of other electrons, and they don't allow that. According to quantum physics, electrons maintain their own identity within the structure. This state of extremely dense matter can be found in white dwarfs, which are the remaining cores of stars like our sun. Consider the massive space between an atom's nucleus and its electrons. If an atom were the size of a football stadium, the nucleus would be a tiny poppy seed at its center, and the stadium walls would represent the electron orbits. This fact was uncovered by J.J. Thompson in his experiment where he shot particles at a thin layer of gold. What he found was that most of the particles zoomed straight through as if there was nothing in their path. The next morning, he is rumored to have been afraid to step onto the floor, fearing he might fall through it because he alone knew how empty matter was. Neutron stars represent the next stage of compression. When electrons are crammed into protons due to high-pressure interactions, a positive-charged proton combines with a negative-charged electron to create a neutral particle called a neutron. Neutron stars are incredibly dense, containing the densest known objects in the universe that aren't black holes. Neutron star matter weighs about a mountain per teaspoonful. 
so much so that if I had a piece of it here and let it go, it would effortlessly pass through the earth like a knife through warm butter. Neutron stars that rapidly rotate have magnetic fields that pulse, and we call these pulsars. Anthony Wesch, who discovered pulsars, won the Nobel Prize for it in the 1970s. So how dense is a neutron star? Imagine taking a herd of 300 billion elephants and cramming them into a thimble. Once you've achieved the density of a neutron star, compressing the matter any further plunges us into the realm of black holes. Black holes can vary in type, each possessing its own distinct size, formation process, and behavior. The most prevalent is the stellar black hole, with masses spanning from 3 to 10 times that of our sun. These form when a massive star exhausts its nuclear fuel and collapses under its own gravity. The star then shrinks incredibly, packing a vast amount of mass into a minuscule volume. Typically, these black holes carry a mass several times that of the sun, yet they are astoundingly small, just a few kilometers across. This makes them extraordinarily dense, forming an event horizon. Then there are intermediate mass black holes. The exact mass of these black holes is uncertain, but it's thought to be in the thousands to tens of thousands of times that of the sun, making them denser than stellar black holes. How they form is still a puzzle, but there are two leading theories. One proposes that they result from several stellar black holes merging together, while the other suggests they might originate from massive gas clouds in the early universe collapsing inward to create a black hole instead of a star. Locating these intermediate mass black holes can be challenging, but there have been some indications of their existence observed indirectly, such as by studying the behavior of stars and gas near suspected locations of these black holes. At the top end of the scale, we have supermassive black holes. These are the big players, with masses ranging from millions to billions of times that of the Sun. They sit in the centers of most galaxies, including our Milky Way. We're still not sure how these form, but one theory is that they grow from smaller black holes by continuously accreting matter from around them. Charged black holes, last but not least, are interesting variations with an electric charge. There are two main types, Reissner-Nordstrom and Kernuman black holes. Reissner-Nordstrom black holes carry a charge but don't spin. General relativity describes them using the Reissner-Nordstrom solution. Their charge influences their gravitational field, but in most ways they are like uncharged black holes. They have an event horizon, but its size depends on both the black hole's mass and charge. Kernuman black holes, on the other hand, both carry a charge and spin. They are described by the Kernuman solution in general relativity. The combination of charge and rotation creates unique phenomena around these black holes, such as frame dragging, where the spinning black hole twists the surrounding spacetime. Black holes possess an event horizon, and there is another boundary known as the Cauchy horizon. This is an inner edge inside the black hole that marks the spot where the singularity, or the very center of the black hole, is located. What's on the other side? You might be wondering. If you cross this horizon, there are compelling theoretical ideas about what might happen if you were to survive a journey through a black hole and emerge on the other side. Our equations suggest that an entirely new space-time dimension would unfold before you. Once you've left the universe you once knew, there's no coming back. Instead, you're propelled into a different realm. Our mathematical models propose this possibility, but until now, it remains an untestable hypothesis. All our equations indicate that a new space-time opens up once you leave the universe you were in, and you will never return to it but enter another domain. This remains one of the most captivating enigmas of our universe. Regardless of the type of black hole, the concept of dark matter always comes up. Dark matter is a unique kind of matter that outweighs visible matter in the universe. We call it dark because it doesn't interact with light or any other forms of electromagnetic radiation. We know it's there because of how it impacts visible matter and the overall structure of the universe. Many suggest that dark matter played a key role in shaping galaxies and even forming black holes. It seems to gather around galaxies and black holes, amplifying their gravitational pull. The future of black hole research is exciting, with many new developments on the horizon. Scientists are continuing to study the event horizon, the point of no return around a black hole. With more observations of black holes, scientists hope to gain insights into the early universe. Black holes are like time capsules holding clues about the cosmos when they were formed. Upcoming missions, 
such as NASA's James Webb Space Telescope, aim to delve deeper into black hole mysteries. This telescope's ability to observe infrared light will provide a clearer view of these enigmatic entities, allowing us to witness events previously obscured. Finally, the collaboration of LIGO and Virgo Gravitational Wave Observatories will keep tracking these waves to unveil the characteristics of black holes, exploring the profound cosmic phenomena they emit. The study of black holes has seen a surge in interest, driven by both technological advancements and theoretical breakthroughs. One area of particular excitement is the concept of gravitational waves, ripples in spacetime caused by massive cosmic events, such as the merging of black holes. These waves were first predicted by Einstein's theory of general relativity and were directly detected for the first time by the LIGO Observatory in 2015. This discovery opened a new window into the universe, allowing scientists to observe phenomena that were previously invisible. Gravitational waves provide insights into the dynamics of black holes, including their interactions and mergers. When two black holes collide, they release enormous amounts of energy in the form of gravitational waves. By analyzing these waves, researchers can infer details about the black holes involved, such as their masses, spins, and the nature of their merger. This has led to the detection of several black hole mergers, each contributing valuable data to our understanding of these enigmatic objects. The study of black holes also involves examining their influence on surrounding matter and the behavior of accretion disks. An accretion disk is a rotating disk of gas and dust that spirals into a black hole. As material in the disk gets closer to the event horizon, it heats up due to friction and gravitational forces, emitting X-rays and other forms of radiation. Observing these emissions provides a way to study the properties of black holes, including their mass and spin. One fascinating aspect of black holes is their potential role in galaxy formation and evolution. Supermassive black holes, which reside in the centers of most galaxies, may have a profound impact on the growth and structure of their host galaxies. The energy released by matter falling into these black holes can influence star formation and the distribution of gas within galaxies. Some theories suggest that the formation of supermassive black holes might be linked to the early stages of galaxy formation, potentially influencing the structure and evolution of the universe itself. Another intriguing topic is the concept of black hole information paradox. According to quantum mechanics, information about a physical system cannot be destroyed. However, classical black hole theory suggests that anything falling into a black hole is lost forever, leading to a contradiction known as the information paradox. Recent theories propose that information might be preserved in some form, possibly encoded in subtle correlations on the event horizon or in the Hawking radiation emitted by the black hole. This ongoing debate is a key area of research in theoretical physics and has significant implications for our understanding of quantum mechanics and gravity. In addition to traditional black holes, researchers are also exploring the possibility of primordial black holes, hypothetical black holes that could have formed in the early universe due to high-density fluctuations. Unlike stellar and supermassive black holes, Primordial black holes could have a wide range of masses, from tiny ones with the mass of a mountain to ones with stellar masses. The search for primordial black holes is driven by their potential to explain various cosmic phenomena and their impact on dark matter. Recent advancements in observational technology, such as the Event Horizon Telescope, EHT, have allowed for more detailed imaging of black holes. The EHT collaboration produced the first direct image of a black hole in the Galaxy M87 which provided a stunning visual confirmation of the existence of these cosmic giants. The image revealed the shadow of the black hole against the glowing accretion disk, offering new insights into its structure and the surrounding environment. Moreover, ongoing improvements in radio, optical, and infrared astronomy are enhancing our ability to study black holes. Upcoming observatories, like the Square Kilometer Array, SKA, and the Extremely Large Telescope, ELT, are expected to provide even more detailed observations of black holes and their interactions with their surroundings. These facilities will help answer fundamental questions about the nature of black holes, their formation, and their role in the universe. In addition to observational advancements, theoretical models continue to evolve. The study of black holes involves complex mathematical frameworks, including general relativity and quantum field theory. 
researchers are developing new models to address unresolved questions, such as the nature of singularities and the behavior of matter under extreme conditions. These models aim to reconcile the differences between classical and quantum descriptions of black holes and to provide a more complete understanding of these cosmic phenomena. Another exciting area of research is the potential connection between black holes and other exotic objects, such as wormholes and white holes. Wormholes are hypothetical tunnels in spacetime that could connect distant regions of the universe, while white holes are theoretical objects that are the time-reverse counterparts of black holes, expelling matter rather than absorbing it. Exploring the relationship between these concepts and black holes could offer new insights into the nature of spacetime and the possibilities for interstellar travel. Finally, the study of black holes has broad implications for fundamental physics and our understanding of the universe. By probing the extreme conditions near black holes, scientists can test theories of gravity and quantum mechanics, potentially leading to new discoveries and breakthroughs. The quest to understand black holes continues to push the boundaries of human knowledge and inspire future generations of scientists and researchers. As we look to the future, the ongoing exploration of black holes promises to uncover even more secrets about the universe, revealing the intricate interplay between matter, energy, and the fabric of space-time. Each new discovery adds a piece to the puzzle, bringing us closer to a deeper understanding of these enigmatic cosmic entities and their role in the grand tapestry of the cosmos.